Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off. What's up, divas? What's up, Devo? time for a really inexpensive wig video today and I'm really excited about this one like I know I say I'm excited a lot but truthfully I am excited only because I have not reviewed or tried this brand in synthetic lace wigs or synthetic wigs in general in like the longest Motown Trust. This is an older brand that's been out forever. And they also have some really great wigs back in the day when I started wearing wigs. They got some new units out, a new collection. And this one here is their Let's Lace Wig 360 Lace Part, six inches of deep parting lace girl i am excited to try this out i have not opened it yet i did get this unit in the color number two her name is liz 20 she's the l360 liz 20 and i'll post all the information below also where you can pick these units up at she is supposed to be a 360 lace part let's see what they're talking about all right you guys so this is the inside of the wig it is a 360 so we're gonna put this on or at least i'm gonna try to get it on after it gets unstuck from my hair. So as you guys see, there is the brown lace in the front and there is lace in the back also. Along with that, there are the combs and the adjustable strap in its normal place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of this unit with my small curved scissors. The hairline is a little thick, so you will need to either customize it to your liking, and that's with any wig, synthetic or human. Just make sure you have fun when you're doing this, girl. I am really excited about Motown Dress because I have not did a wig by them in the longest, and I used to wear them so much back in the day. They have come out with so many different styles, so you know, your girl do like Motown Dress, okay? One of my old school favorite wigs is by Motown Dress, if you guys remember. I cannot remember the name off the top of my head, but listen, if I find the, out the name, I'll definitely try to link it below i'm not really sure if it's still available for sale but girl i have like a bunch of that same particular wig that i'm talking about so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on the hair texture is really nice on this hair on this unit it does not feel like like synthetic hair it has like a feeling of in between human hair you know it feels more like human it also looks more natural than a lot of other synthetic wigs look like it doesn't have that fake hair kind of look you know what i'm saying so yeah if you're worried about that then definitely be assured rest assured the hair does not look like synthetic hair and it does not tangle you can easily run your fingers through it so i'm just gonna make me some flyaway hairs only because you know i don't like the blunt cut in the front you know i'm trying to take away from that so i'm gonna just use my eyebrow trimmers and just kind of trim them down just a little bit not a lot because they're not going to be baby hairs i'm not going to make baby hairs in this wig i'm just going to make wispy hairs in it just so it can look a little bit more natural so that's the reason why they're a little bit longer and i'm going to take my hairspray with the to, um, my hairspray with my favorite green toothbrush and I'm just going to spray the hairspray on the toothbrush The only reason why I spray it on the toothbrush is because I don't want the whole entire hair to get wet And plus it also helps it just control it So I'd rather spray it on the toothbrush versus actually spraying it directly on the hair So the first color that I used was not a really good color for pressed powder So I went to a lighter shade which is I think it's the NW42 in the MAC pest powder so I just use that and the parting is really deep it's six inches so you get plenty amount of parting and if you don't like where the part is that you can definitely like shift the wig over a little bit more that's the one thing I do like you know when you shift the wig over it doesn't get uneven you ever notice like when you want to move them a little bit to the sides they get uneven like this one does not do that so I'm really happy about that and she's really easy to style girl she's a simple workable wig for anybody Liz 20. So my true feelings on this unit. It is really easy. This is a really easy unit to wear. I didn't do any baby hairs. I just did like these little flyaway wispies in the front because not everybody wants to put baby hairs and tack them down. And me personally, it's a lot more work to do that on a synthetic wig. But you know, you can basically do whatever you want. So I decided to tilt the wig over a little bit more. You know how you have those wigs? Okay, let's just put it like this. You know how you have those synthetic wigs and you really don't like what the part is at? So sometimes you can shift them even more so to the left or to the right, wherever you want to put it, and it doesn't look uneven. And then you have those that definitely look uneven when you shift them. Well, this one, it doesn't look uneven. I did shift it a little bit more. It kind of was like, you know, 
it can go here or it can go here. Me, I like it a little bit further to the left side. So that's where I put it. As for the hair texture, so here's the kicker with this wig. It does not really feel like synthetic hair. Like it's starting to remind me of, um, oh my gosh, what was the wig? I can't think of it at the top of my head, but it was another synthetic wig that I posted up like a week ago. And that too felt like natural human hair. This is how this one is feeling. You know how like you could run your fingers through synthetic hair and sometimes your fingers get caught in the midst of trying to be cute and running your fingers through it. But you know how you could just keep doing it over and over and it'll start to tangle. This is not giving me that, you know, oh gosh, I'm about to tangle. Well, the lace like that they used in the nape area was more or less fishnet stocking. This lace reminded me so much of a wig cap, like, you know, the wig caps that you get that are fishnetted. This is what this reminds me of, so it's pretty thick. So if you're planning to put it up in a ponytail in the back or any type of updo, I would just highly suggest pulling out a little bit of your nape hairs because this is very thick and I'm not thinking that it's going to, you know, adhere that great. And plus the nape to me never adheres that great anyway. It's a synthetic wig, why do you wanna put all that you know, glue and tape and adhesive onto it. This wig is very simple. It's basic. I think like this is a really good work wig. Like, you know, if you're going to the office, girl, you got your little corporate job. You don't want to look too glamified or hoochified or ratified. whatever it may be. This is something very simple and basic. Put some hairspray to it, easily fluffable. The waves in it are not too wavy. They're very like more or less like body wave hairstyle. And it's more or less like a mature wig, but I'm pretty sure girl, you could hook it up if you wanted to. I do have a couple others from their collection that I will be reviewing, but I will say it's a very easy wig. For those who like this type of look, it's very subtle and it's very easy to apply or to style. But I like the fact that it does not look like it's synthetic hair. That's the plus in this one, okay? I will post all of the information below where you can pick this wig up at. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. And on that note, I will see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Deuces. Get them, spin them, unless you're my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.